Feasibility Experiments for the Biologically Inspired Whole Skin Locomotion by Mark Showalter, Mark Ingram, and Dennis Hong from the Robotics and Mechanisms Laboratory at Virginia Tech. As technological advancements increase, so does the need for alternative fundamental locomotion mechanisms. Single-celled organisms have three primary ways of locomotion, using flagella, cilia, or pseudopods. Among these, the pseudopod mobility mechanism would be most useful for robots used on land. Pseudopods form by a process called cytoplasmic streaming. The liquid endoplasm flows forward inside the ectoplasmic tube. When the endoplasm reaches the front, it turns into the gel-like ectoplasm, forming the extension of the ectoplasmic tube, moving the organism forward. As the amoeba advances, the ectoplasmic tube turns into the liquid endoplasm at the rear of the cell. The net effect of this ectoplasm-endoplasm transformation is the forward motion of the amoeba. Inspired by cytoplasmic streaming mechanisms of amoeba, we present the whole skin locomotion as an alternative locomotion strategy for mobile robots. Instead of using the process of liquid to gel transformation of cytoplasm, we implement whole skin locomotion by a flexible membrane skin in the shape of a long torus, which can then rotate in a fashion of turning itself inside out in a single continuous motion, effectively generating the overall motion of the cytoplasmic streaming ectoplasmic tube in amoeba. Two different skin actuation methods are currently being considered. The larger scale method consists of rings of accordion type hose that are expanded and contracted using pressurized fluid. The smaller scale method uses rings of electroactive polymer to drive the motion. To demonstrate the feasibility of the locomotion mechanism, a simple experiment was conducted using a long elastic silicone toroid filled with water. Due to difference in skin diameter, a pretensioned model moves to achieve a lower energy state. In this experiment, tension cords were used to simulate a contracting ring actuator on the rear of a fluid-filled toroid model. This experiment demonstrates whole skin locomotion's ability by traveling through a square hole with less than half the model's frontal area.